welcome to my gamer girl channel um it has been a while and i changed the name to grim so-called life so welcome to my life this is sort of like um i would say it's a, like a vlog mixed with other things but today we're going to be doing a workout for my friend who made a request and she wants um a workout that she can do while holding her baby she just had a baby she has these bands um i actually got it for her as a mommy gift because nobody ever thinks to get the mommy a gift <laughs> mommies need gifts too okay they need to like you know keep themselves in shape after the baby so that's what we're gonna do today we are going to take care of a baby while working out okay so I'm trying to incorporate that um I also have to actually eat this yogurt at some point because I took my vitamins and I forgot to eat the breakfast for the yogurt um I usually have a yogurt um for breakfast or I have I do the opposite um I might have an omelet like a little uh, two egg only um two egg whites omelet and I put a little bit of bacon in there and a little stuff you know no cheese no dairy um, and then after that I'll have that yogurt as a snack or something a couple hours later at least um, I cannot find for the life of me my Bluetooth control so I'm assuming that Opal Smudge took it and she's locked out of my room so if you hear any meowing and crying and whatever it's her okay so Holly, this is for you, my little probie. So we're we're gonna put I put on a number two band, but don't feel like you have to since you're just starting. Put on the lightest band, put because this is the second lightest. Put on the the light light one, okay? And it actually is the lightest color out of the band set. Like you can tell because like this one's darker. This one's a band three. I think that's yeah it says medium strength and this one's extra light which is extra light colored so I think that's kind of cool don't mind my mess it's my knitting and I did put start putting in a bag but I didn't finish organizing so we're just going to hold our baby which is why my hands are busy okay my hands is I'm gonna keep them busy and that's you holding your baby or whatever but don't sit on your couch okay just stand there and you can sway with the band on and you see where I put the band now you are just beginning and they work out different parts so if you put your band around your ankle it's going to work a different part than he than the middle of your calves and if you put it on your knees it's going to work out a different part than both those and if you put it halfway on your thighs it's going to work out a whole different set of muscles well same muscles but different way i would say so i'm just going to do this and i'm listening to 80s music by the way i was listening to uh 50s but that was like last night so. a little variety never hurt anybody well it did but it's a different kind of ride <laughs> LOL. Right, Roby? <laughs> Alright, so I am going to do this. Oh, God, that match started quick. Okay. Um, my spoon! And you're, you'll be wondering why I have this knife here. But by the end of the video, you're not going to wonder about this knife anymore because this is going to be my tip of the day. So stay tuned if you want to know what it is. It's a good one. Oh, forgot to take my turmeric. Anybody that has severe anxiety, um, turmeric actually is known to, you can put it in your food or whatever, you know, it's a spice. Um, it is actually known to, I, I would say not, I don't know necessarily if it calms down your anxiety because your, but your body releases core, uh, like tons of cortisol. 
okay? When you're having a panic attack, fight or flight, it's like, ah, and then your body, I've come to find out, can have so much of it over so long a period of time that you can actually start to damage your body. The actual chemical itself can injure your body. So right now I have a nerve that's injured because of that. I started taking turmeric and it's pretty, it's, it's, it's helped a lot. It's helped a lot. So anybody that's starting to have anxiety, if you think you're going to have it for longer periods and you notice it for longer and longer stretches, turmeric. Okay. It's so awesome. I like to take mine in the beginning of the day because it kind of calms it down. And I've noticed my anxiety is actually still building, believe it or not. I can't believe it, but it is. Um, and I've had tests done. They can see the cortisol levels are insane. So what's going to happen is while I work out, <laughs> um, they're gonna switch me to uh, two turmerics a day, two turmeric pills a day, um, instead of just the one. So excuse me for one second, I'm gonna go get my spoon. <laughs> and yes, you can walk around the house in these. Oh my, okay. Fight the cat while I do it. Wow, okay, I just think I found a new workout by accident. Okay. Ooh, walked backwards. That was interesting. So walking backwards is a new option. The original song that's, uh, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Totally awesome. Everybody knows I love to dance. Somebody's watching me. Don't mind my arms, they're in flux right now. Something I'm working on. And I just pretty much do whatever moves I feel like doing. Um, I usually don't pay much attention to what I'm doing. Uh, and it actually works out. I just feel, I feel the workout and I feel that it's working out certain parts of my body. So I know it is, but since this is for Holly, I'll try to pay attention. <laughs> I don't know where that guy went. It's going to heal him, but I don't know. Okay. So just side to side. And I know like that can be, you know, like rocking the baby, you know, your baby might like to dance with you. Um, believe it or not, I'm not messing my, my nose ring if anybody's wondering why I keep doing that. Somebody's watching. Oh. not a good one. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I just messed up in the game, so I'm just gonna chill in a locker till I'm playing Dead by Daylight, by the way. Okay, so this works out all this. I don't know if it works out or anything else. Um, I've actually been getting advice from my cousin, Morgan. So, hey, Morgan! My best birthday present ever what I always call her because she was just like my my aunt and uncle were when she um when they had her they're like sorry we can't make it to your bat mitzvah because we have a present for you and it's like well what's that it better be good you're not here you know they're like oh a baby <laughs> and I was just like oh <laughs> turns out best present ever okay so I'm not alone Okay, 
different song and I feel like I'm warmed up enough. So I'm actually going to put this around the middle of my uh, calves. I'm stuck in the house, oh no. And then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna start stretching in a second. Just give me a second, this killer is being a freaking jerk. Get off the freaking thing. Okay, well, never stop moving, like I said. Crap. One of our players rage quit. That's never good for us. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with this um, since I was standing still long enough to not be warmed up. And just keep imagining a baby in my hands. I will show you some floor exercises to do um, for when you put your baby in the, the baby bouncer uh, holder thing. I don't know what they're called. Um, <laughs> the baby seat. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I'm terrible. I don't know what to call it. Oh, man. This one will get you going. Because it works real hard in here, and it works on, like, you can feel it on your upper. <laughs> I just messed up really bad. Let's move this mazy area. I'm getting distracted and I'm, I'm actually feeling this band a lot more. I think I need more practice with the light, the extra light one. Um, for this particular exercise, you can always tell when you need to change bands because it'll get kind of like boring or your, your, your body will get used to it. All right, inside of side stepping, I'm just gonna step, 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 step. I'm not gonna be bringing my leg back to the middle like I normally do. I'm just gonna be lifting it and setting it down. That's another one. It's kind of like you'll feel the brain. get my booty in a locker. All right. So obviously we would put the baby down at this point somewhere safe, you know, not on the couch or something weird. Okay. So then, you know, I have to stretch like this because my knee, so you don't have to do this, but you can lean against object and notice I still have the band on. Okay. So I'm gonna take this off because it's about to slide off. Um, so just hands to the floor or feet or ankles, whatever, however you stretch is up to you. So you would stretch and you should feel this on the back of your legs. Okay. I'm gonna move these to the ankle. So now I'm gonna bend this knee and just stretch this one foot. Or this one leg, rather. And all I have to do is lean into it. Now I'm going to switch, bend this knee. Oh, oh. Ooh, I really feel that one. Ooh. Not gonna lie, really about that. I don't think I've been doing that stretch like I've been supposed to be doing it. Oh my god, the killer went by me. I have to get out of the locker, I have crow. Okay. So back to this, and then that's to warm my body back up. 
And then, believe it or not, I am going to um, go ahead and do another stretch. I'm gonna do it without the band though. So actually I might wanna switch that. So just to begin, even if you're just beginning, you can do this without bands because your body's not used to moving right now. You know, you've been doing a lot of mom stuff. I don't know what you've been doing, but you know, well, I know what you've been doing, but you know, I'm not gonna broadcast it. <laughs> your business. Whew. Okay. So at this point, I'm gonna bring my knees up as high as I can. And remember, this is mommy exercises. So you can do this all while holding a child. Okay, and I'm going to see where my, my camera's positioned. Um, Cause I don't think it's on the wall. No, it's not. So that seems like a good spot. I'm gonna try to stay in camera, but sue me if I don't. Okay, person killed themselves. I'm just gonna. Wow. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get in this locker. Um. I need to show you the stretch because it's a good one. Okay, so this is for plantar fasciitis also. So every once in a while you'll get back into the routine of working out and the bottom of your foot or your Achilles tendon, okay? So like you'll feel it right here, like really in your arch area and you might feel it in here. Okay, so that area will be so painful you have no idea what to do with yourself you won't know what the hell hit you you just you just don't want to deal with it it's it's very it's a very bad thing to deal with I've dealt with it it's um, due to my leg injury I've just noticed it and it's it's a pretty bad way to be So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this real quick before I start playing again. So you would plant one leg behind and one leg a little bit forward. I'm gonna get this cap out of the way actually. Hopefully you can still see it really out of the way. Okay, so that one's back, this one's forward and just bend the knee and have that foot stay on the floor. So then you straighten back up this leg and do the same thing, slightly bend. And it'll be enough to where you feel it on your Achilles tendon. And if you feel it there, then it is working the bottom of your foot as well. You might not feel it on the bottom of your foot or you might and it might alleviate a lot. straight. Once you straighten up that second or third time, then you bend the other knee and go all the way to the wall while keeping this leg straight. And you want to really lean into that so you feel it on that straight leg. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Slightly bend. And the other side is actually where I have my pain. Not letting that killer get me. I'll just die from the amputee. It's bandage, so. This one I'm doing extra. Um because this is my problem leg. Okay. 
So now I'm gonna do the step to the wall, almost to the wall. I say I'm two inches from my foot's two, my toes are two inches from it, and try to bend that all the way to the wall, which I'm I'm gonna have to get a little more forward for that, personally. And I'm gonna cut my knee because that's my injury area. And really like lean into that back leg, that heel part. You'll feel it, you'll feel the stretch. Whew. Okay. So the second way to deal with plantar fasciitis or any, you know, anything with the bottom of your foot is one of these balls, okay? They're like little massage balls. You can go back and forth. I like to go back and forth and I do it on that, the right side and then the left side where the arch is. And I like to get it really in there, not hurt myself or anything, but it feels really like you can tell it feels really good. If you have this painful area, this is gonna loosen it up. So then I do just the heel, which is harder than it looks. I usually sit down for this part, but for the sake of the video, I'm not going to. Okay, then I go side to side, which might sound weird. I don't know if I'm, going, if I'm supposed to do it like that. I don't think I am, but I've noticed personally, it helps me. So. Then I go back, you know, back to the up and down thing. And then I want to really get that side with my arch because that's where the problem is. Like, since your leg is straight, that muscle straightens out. And when that muscle straightens out and it's not used to all this exercise and being that tight, it needs to be loosened up. Okay, this side of my heel. Yeah, that side of my heel is really, whew. And I can feel it crackling. You can also use this ball uh, on the back of your leg. You can use it. You can actually put it on the wall and um, kind of let it fall. And if you're having like a shoulder blade injury or you need some kind of like massaging there, you just like roll it on the wall. Ugh, actually, that feels really good. Let me go lower. <laughs> I actually pulled a muscle earlier and like my neck, my neck shoulder injury, I don't know, neck shoulder, in between the shoulder blades, whatever that area is. <sighs> yeah, this ball takes care of that. <laughs> okay, I need it a little bit to the right. There you go. Okay, so you can go up and down, around and around, whatever. You can also use this on your friend or mate or whoever you choose to use it on. And you can just like, you know, give them a massage and ask them how hard, you know, the pressure, whatever. So food for thought. It's used for multiple things. Um, I actually can use this um, on the back of my legs and I rub, I rub it around like that. And then I rub it around like this and it actually gets rid of cellulite and rubs it, all that out and breaks it all up. So like it'll get drained out by your system. So drink a lot of water after you do that, if you're gonna do that. But these things are great. Use it in the tub, it's awesome. So, okay, next exercise before I get back on the video game. Okay, and your imaginary kid is in the, the sitting down bouncy thing, whatever, your kid's safe, <laughs> all right? So for these upper arms, this is the one my cousin told me to do. So you want to get as close to doing like a one of these push-ups as you can. If you can do them on the floor, congratulations to you. Okay, but I personally can't, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure my friend Holly can't. I don't know, but we don't do that. It's this is a low impact way to do it if you can't get on the floor to get on your knee or you, you know, you can't do those girl push-ups, you know, like the ones that you're on your knees to do. When you're beginning, you want to do that, but I can't do that, so. 
So this will work out this, and actually it will tighten up your nonas. And further, the further away you go, like the more out it's working out. So like it goes from in and then out. So as yeah, this, this is going to work out my arms. It is, and it's going to work out my chest, but if I go closer, it's going to hit that target area, which is right under here that I'm trying to target. Okay, and also when you go lower on the wall or higher on the wall or floor, whatever have you, that changes the workout. So every time you change a position, it changes the workout. So me, I do it, I try to get my toes as far away from the wall as I can and like try to make it so I'm pointing them kind of. So it mimics me doing a real actual push up on the floor. Oh, this thing keeps trying to pop out, okay. And I'm gonna go straight from my chest to the wall to try to make it that, cause that's the area I wanna work out. Is that kind of makes it so that your arms are the perfect level for that part of your arm. Do as many of those as you can. You can take breaks and then go back to it. I do. I can't do straight, you know, push-ups anymore. Um, not at this point. I'm hoping to get there soon. I have to eat my yogurt. I keep forgetting. All right, so we're going to go back to the regular workout routine because I know she wants more of that. Sorry for me having to keep changing my area, but that's what happens when you have a real camera or a cameraman. Okay. So we were working with bands and there's my band. And I'm actually going to go lighter for what I'm going to do next. This is the light one. And you can see they're, they're really awesome. They're like marked, it's marked right on there what they are. Um, just in case you get mixed up. Almost out of my headphones. <laughs> okay, so for this part I always sit because I need to. Okay, so there, if you put them to your knees, like I like to do my clamshells with them right below like the knot on my knee. That's just where I'm comfortable. And I sit on the edge of my chair. So holding baby or video game controller. So this is possible. So you will plant this leg and keep it there. Have them like, you know, a nice distance apart. So you're just sitting comfortably with your knees apart hold this well you can hold it or you cannot hold it because you're holding a baby but this is clamshells off the floor so just think about that so you can just be sitting there holding your baby and you're doing clamshells so clamshells are going to work this area out it's going to firm your hips your thighs i think so with push-ups, this is how this is how your body works. So this is how I remember what I'm working out. So if I'm pushing out, I'm working my inner. And if I'm pulling back, then I'm working my back. Okay? So with this, since I'm working and I'm pushing out, I'm working my outer. And there's a way that, like if I take this, ooh, if I take this and I hook it to a chair and I start going inward, then I'm working my inner. Okay, so that works all this stuff, you know, that's how you get those, you know, the space in between your thighs real nice, yeah. All right, so that's how I always remember it. So keep that in mind when you're doing workouts. And yes, you can do sitting clamshells, you can do them on the floor, which I will do in a little bit because, I mean, at some point you're going to put your baby down or she's taking a nap or whatever it is. 
and you'll be able to um, my, my video game just malfunctioned really weird okay so you'll be able to do what I'm showing you at some point and just you can break it up during the day do this whenever you know the mood strikes you like oh the baby's put down um you know I know you you're gonna like oh I gotta go have a cigarette before I go crazy and then oh like hey while you're having a cigarette step side to side or you have a good knees <laughs> sit down and get up and do this you can do that over and over I can't but you can <laughs> um, that would be like kind of like your squats but on the way down try to go slow okay don't just plop yours down uh, that's kind of my problem I, I can't help but plop myself down right now so side to side side to side and then because I was going to show you this okay so if you go right above your knees like right above the bend or whatever right above you know where your knees are okay this is another one standing in place and marching with the band on it's awesome i think this and video gaming and the side to side thing is literally how i lost that like 96 pounds or i think it's more now <laughs> so a lot okay. okay and I always touch my toe to where my foot is and then step then step then step then random dance. And the more you incorporate your hands, the better, because you can just do this, actually, or this, or this, and this will work out this, too. Or you can go like this, pretend you're like a traffic uh, person. Yeah. What's it? Plane traffic controller. That's it. <laughs> I knew I'd get it. All right, and you can do this with like your dumbbells. And if anybody's wondering how I did this uh, hairstyle, you'll have to watch my channel for how to do a suicide roll because it's just a regular ponytail. And then I did a suicide roll to it. <laughs> so do your little march. Hold your baby. Okay. So then it can stay in the same spot. I like to move my a little smidge more up. And I do the same thing. Touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step. Believe it or not, this does more than you think it does. I mean, this light band, obviously, you know, I've, I've graduated from it. Same thing. It's this easy to lose that weight. I don't video game without doing this. Or, um, what was the other one I was doing? Oh yeah. So you're in a recliner and you're just, <laughs> it's kind of broken right now. So you're just relaxing, watching your show or whatever and everything you can do while video gaming you can do while watching your soaps game of thrones whatever you like to watch keep your toes straight or you can point them but this works your outer thigh so you can sit down and work out there is no reason to sit there like a couch potato Mind you, I know you're probably like running around with the baby and you're all stressed out and blah, blah. Guess what? Guess what working out does? Sends out dopamines. 
So when you start working out, you start getting happier. Okay, and sometimes in some cases you start getting addicted to it a little bit, a little smidge. And then you might take some karate classes a little bit, enough to know how to break a board. And then you might, you know, chase your sister through the house and break the, the door. Who knows what'll happen? You might go visit Aunt Jill's house and try to pull that crap at her house and she might get really, really, really mad at you and then you're in real big trouble. Hi, Aunt Jill. <laughs> Yeah, based on real events. <laughs> Fun now times. Just, here are your next four events. Today at 7 p.m. Oh, Lord. Joe's party. Alexa, oh. stop. <sighs> yeah, I'm having smart house problems. It's not working out with her. She started strobe lighting in the bathroom and after she started having her own dance parties, I kind of called to get it fixed and they cleared everything out, but it made things worse. It's just not good. Sorry, had to concentrate for a minute because there was a psycho after me. And he's still pretty much after me. I'm just gonna go into a locker real quick, so. When I go into a locker, it's kind of like hiding from the killer or not if they saw me go in there. Hmm. All right, so side to side is go-to. It's my go-to. You can also, since you have good knees, um, I don't know if you can do this holding a baby, but Oh, the killer found me. Oh, I'm so surprised. Um, do squats with bands. Okay, I can't. Wow. Me is so broken. Can't wait for that surgery. Whew. Okay. So, I realized I have forgotten to get away from me, dude. You're not helping anyone. Oh, fucking Christ. He's gonna get me killed. Yeah, that guy, I don't know. The killer wants that guy really bad. I'm just gonna get away from him. So you notice how, like, I'm not even paying attention to the fact that I'm working out right now. Like, it doesn't, if I can feel the workout, but it's basically like I'm not working out at all because it's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to the other band. Um, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to do the other one, the other one on a different day. So this is also what you can do with bands. Okay, so you can do this exercise. I missed one on my legs. I'm gonna have to go back. I just realized. And you can keep doing this. You can go like this. Do the alligator. Okay, you can go like this over your head. And if you're so fancy, you can do it from behind or you can attach this to something and pull, do like pumps. Um, bands are very forgiving. Um, I forgot one of the workouts. <sighs> So, back to this. I really hope this guy doesn't come around here. He's going to. Yeah. I might have a killer problem. Oh. I like his jerk face keeps bringing him back here. Okay, so there is another exercise where you would put, plant your one leg forward and put the other one backward, but bend the knee. And all you have to do is straighten, straighten, straighten. 
straighten, straighten, straighten. Okay. Also, anything where you go back with your leg will work out your butt. Okay, so if you're trying to get your butt higher and tighter, back, back, or bend and back. And you can do this like, like this on a chair, which is usually what I do. I use this chair a lot, actually. And I pump. And that way I don't have to do any ground exercises. I mean, obviously you could probably put your baby in the chair and just like coo at your baby or watch her or whatever, whatever strikes your fancy. And I will give the tip of the day at the end of this match because this is just getting a little bit insane. I'm actually gonna switch bands because after this video, I wanna do, I don't know why I'm doing this standing up. I just try to do things I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> um, I wanna get into my actual workout and while I'm not paying attention to you, it's going to be way easier for me to not pay attention to me video gaming. <laughs> Yeah, she said it. Whew. Just gonna sit here and do a little jig. And what I do is I lift my heel off the floor, heel off the floor, heel off the floor, heel off the floor. And it's kind of like my little dance for this one. Wish I could do jumping jacks. That would be so awesome. Or a cartwheel. I miss cartwheels so much. And handstands. I miss all that stuff. One day I will figure out how to do it without my knee. I'm gonna figure it out. I figured out how to dance with no knee. Like I sent my Annalisa video and it was me dancing, but I was not using my knee at all. It just looks like I did. It was awesome. I was extremely proud of it. Oh God, killing family. Not good. Run! Oh God, I'm trying to save that girl too. What are you doing? Shit, kill her. Oh, cursing in the video. Oh well, I guess not for kids now. <laughs> like it was anyway. Believe it or not, this is all that same move with just lifting the heel. Jesus. I don't have the perks on that I thought I did. It's weird how many workouts also that you can take from the 80s. Believe it or not, there's a lot. There's a lot of workouts during the 80s that were really good for you. Like they, they actually had moves. So if you ever want to like spice things up, just go look at like an 80s music video. Because <laughs> that's what we used to do. We used to mimic the videos. I mean... And yes, I'll, I'm 39, but I look good doing it. Oh, goody. I have a wimp for a uh, teammate. I don't think they're gonna come get me. Well, if you try now, you're gonna be too late, so I might as well kill myself. I'm busy anyway. Believe it or not, I'm just letting my knee go limp. I let it go limp and it looks like I'm bending it. So, 
since that video is over. All right, I can take this off real quick. So I'm gonna take this off actually too. Okay, I only use that for the video. Um, so you can also do, like I've done these, the floor pumps, those are like for your calves or whatever. Watch one of my other videos for that stuff. I'll do floor videos for another video. Um, okay, the knife thing. So this is my tip of the day and then like I kind of decided not to eat the yolk in my camera. So. This is my tip of the day. So the knife thing, I was talking about plantar fasciitis, which I have. Um, and yes, I know I need, I need a pedicure. Um, my nail polish is kind of coming off. Can't afford a pedicure right now, so I'm trying to wait till I can do it myself, which is... Okay, so I take... This is the knife part. This is the handle. My handle's pretty straight, and it's got like a pretty good um, corner to it. So what I do is I just use this I use the corner to rub against my foot. So make sure you see what I'm doing. I rub like this and then I rub up and it stretches that muscle that's pulling on the bottom of your foot. Believe it or not, this actually works better than the ball. So it kind of looks like you're, you're doing movements like you're kind of like putting on um, cake, you know, cake, what's it called? Icing on your cake, okay? You can do it to your heel area as well. The best way to do it is with your foot positioned like this and somebody to do it for you, but I don't have that right now, so. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the calf one. So the calf one is the same thing and you're just going up and yes I did go to a podiatrist before and this is how I went <laughs> and then you go down because you're trying to stretch all your calf muscle and like your Achilles tendon don't go too hard. You're just doing enough to like, you just want to rub it. It's like a, like a sports rub. And yeah, I do this sitting here too. And I just rub it. And then go back to this. And like, I'll go back and forth real fast on my heel. Because it's just an awkward area to do for me. And then I'll just go back and forth here. Pretty fast. And ta-da, the pain is gone. And all I used was the back of a knife. So back of a knife can do a lot of things. I'm going to put this over here since I had it touching my foot. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed our video today our mommy friendly video and who knows I might do a tutorial on like how the proper way to do a pedicure maybe that'll be my next video I don't know I've been mixing in the workout videos with my actual you know the videos that I want to do the tutorials and what I do on a daily basis and all that so I have recently gone on my diet again because I want, I want to lose even more weight. The cake had me for a little bit, but it's okay. I'm, I, I got released now. So I've actually not gained, <laughs> not anything. Um, I will be working on my core more, because as you can see, I need to. Um, definitely might do a core video soon. I think I've done core videos. I'm not sure if they're up though. Um, might do one just about butts. Who knows? But for today, thank you for watching my channel. Subscribe, like, or don't. I don't own you, but please do.
<laughs> okay, so I hope you had at least an informational time, if not a fun time, if not you're laughing at me. Do something fun, right? Okay, so that was, yeah, that tutorial, that tutorial, this is good for your back of your arms. And so is this, actually. Like those skier arms, okay? So I hope you had a great time watching my channel and see you later. Good gaming.